Hello. Microsoft Excel doesn't support the bullet point formatting tool that you find in programs like Microsoft Word. Up here in the font uh, section there is no bullet point option and you won't find it in any of the menus. However, I have a bullet point list here with items in separate cells and over here I have a bullet list of items in one single merged cell. So in this video, I'll show you how you can create your own bullet lists in Microsoft Excel. So since Microsoft Excel doesn't support the formatting of bullet lists within any kind of menu or option available at the top here, we have to create that option ourselves. This is how we do it. Let's say that I'm going to start a list in column A and the first item in that list is red. What I'm going to do is click on this cell A1 that contains the first item of my list and then making sure I'm in the Home tab I'm going to come along here towards the center where we have this number section. And at the bottom right corner of the number section, I'm going to click on that little tiny arrow there to pop out this window here for formatting cells. Now I have six tabs along the top of here. I'm making sure that we're in the first of those tabs, number. I'm going to come down to the bottom of that list and click on custom. Now in the type box, we can delete what's in there, which says general. And what I'm going to do now is type the symbol that I want to use for my bullet list. Now this can be any symbol you like. And the best way of doing this is to use an alt code. What the heck is an alt code? Well, on your keyboard to the left hand side of your space bar, there is the alt key, A-L-T. And if you hold that alt key down, and you type a number using the number pad on the right hand side of your keyboard, then you will be able to type very easily um, a range of special symbols. So what I'm going to do is type the basic alt code, uh, sorry, the basic um, bullet point, just simply the black dot. I'm going to do that by holding the alt button down, so I'm keeping that pressed now, and then on the right hand side using my number keypad I'm going to simply type the number 7 and then let go of the alt key and you see I have a bullet appear. I'm going to type a space because I always want to have one space after the bullet and before the text and then what I need to do is type an at symbol. Now an at symbol represents text generally anything at all, mainly text. So what we're saying here is that the format of this cell will be a bullet symbol, a space, and then any text you like. If I click OK, you'll see that the first item in my bullet list now has a bullet. What I can do is copy the format of that cell down as many cells as I would like for my list. So for example, if I was to type in uh, blue, green, yellow, you'll see those aren't currently um, formatted as a bullet list. But if I click on the cell which is, and then at the top I click on Format Painter, which basically is like a kind of copy and paste, but for formatting, I can click on Format Painter and then paste that format I've just chosen onto any cell I like. I'm going to paste it over these three cells which contain the other items in my list, but I'm going to carry on and highlight the next three cells as well. I want the format across all of those cells. So when I let go, you'll see I now have that bullet list uh, formatted like that. And if I carry on, I can simply type the next one, uh, purple, and you'll see it's automatically uh, formatted as a bulleted item. Uh, let's think of another one, um, orange and pink. 
Now, of course, what I could do is simply highlight a whole bunch of cells ahead of typing anything in, go to number, click on the pop out, go down to custom, and then in the type, I can type my bullet list. This time I'll use a hollow bullet, which is Alt 9. So I hold down Alt, and I then press 9 on the keypad, I let go, and there's my it's not, it looks like a letter O there, but it's not. It's the uh, the round hollow bullet. The type of space and then the at symbol to represent text and then click OK. So nothing appears to be happening in these cells. But if I start typing um, some items now, so let's type in dog, cat, fish, goose. You'll see that again, those cells are formatted as a bulleted list. There are other bulleted uh, symbols that you could use. So for example, if I was to highlight those and change my bulleted symbol, so I've got seven for a hard bullet, nine for a hollow bullet. Um, I've got 16, so Alt 16 is a sort of um, solid triangle. And if I go and change that to Alt 26, it's an arrow. So you'll see by using different symbols, so we've got Alt um, 7, 9, 16, and 26. So those are the different symbols. That's the solid bullet, hollow bullet, solid triangle, and arrow. And we can do that for um, this item uh, list in separate cells. What about if we wanted to have a cell uh, a big cell, let's say we'll merge this one into one single uh, cell, and we wanted to have our bullet list in this one cell. Well, what we have to do then, it's a little bit more fiddly, but basically we have to copy and paste the symbol that we want to use each time. So let's say I want the arrow for this one, so I'm going to type Alt 26, then let go of the Alt key to make the symbol appear, type a space, and then what I'm going to do is highlight that symbol and the space I've just typed. I'm going to copy that and then I can type the first item. So let's type in horse. Now, of course, if I press enter, what happens is that cell then is completed. I'm now knocked down to the next cell and I've finished typing in this one. However, if I want to force a line break so I can have a separate line within this same cell, I have to hold the Alt key down and press Enter. And that jumps me onto the next line. Now I copied and pasted that bullet symbol so I can simply press Control V to paste that symbol and space in and type the next item. Press Alt, Enter onto the next line, and then Control V again to paste that symbol. Or you could right click, but I find it much easier to use the keyboard shortcuts. So then let's have um, our next item, and then press Enter, and that's it. I'll just make that cell a bit wider so we can see that more clearly. And there we have a bulleted list within a single cell. You can, of course, use any symbol that you like, uh, happy smiley faces or solid blocks, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, but basically by using alt codes and the formatting within the number panel that I showed you, uh, you can create your own bullet lists within separate cells or a single cell. I hope that was useful. If you have any questions at all about that, please do uh, leave them in the comments section below. I do my best to respond to and answer uh, all questions and, and comments people post. If you did find it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. It is appreciated and it would also be fantastic if you could subscribe uh, to the channel and share this video. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.